Well, good morning, folks. It's uh, June 6th, about 8 o'clock in the morning, and I'm out here in the garden making the switch in the seasons here, going from working in the woods to working in the garden. I, it's really important for me to run my life with uh, working with the seasons. It really, really helps my recovery. So, uh, you know, I've been gardening for, I don't know, I'm going to say eight years. No, it's been more than that, 15 years. And uh, it's just really uh, makes me feel good to grow and be involved with Mother Nature. And then um, later on in the summer, have really, really good uh, fresh vegetables. That's a huge part of my diet later on in the season. So uh, we're going to get started with garden. And... Um, this is the second year that I've done garden videos. And uh, so uh, let me just give you a quick tour of what the garden looks like today. So there's the garden. It, uh, my stepson cleaned it up for me this spring. And uh, my wife is, as she mows, she puts the grass clippings down here for mulch. I'm going to have to do a little bit of touch up right there she missed a spot but that's good so uh, we're gonna get started getting our tomatoes in some lettuce I'm about a week late this year but that's all right and uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go get some compost all right we're back here at the compost barrel I'm gonna tip that over so the compost will land on this metal and I can shovel it up. Remember, I put it in this wagon. Put these two sticks across here. Take my gutless fan and sift it. All right, so this is barrel. So that's the one I'm going to use today. That sat all last year. Got filled up the year before. Sat all last year and composted. This one just got done with. And see how much it's already settled down, rotted down, composted down. And uh, I'll top that off with some dirt. And that will sit all this year. That will be next year's. This is the barrel that we're using right now. It's already almost full. We've got extra people using this barrel, so it's getting a little fuller. But uh, that's what we do. Fill it for a year. Let it sit for a year. And then use it. That's compost. Alright, so there's the contents of my compost barrel. You see a lot of eggshells that haven't broken down yet. A lot of uh, avocado skins that haven't broke down yet. Uh, I see peach pits and, of course, avocado seeds. So there's a lot of stuff in there that haven't broken down yet. And uh, so I'm going to shovel this up, put it in the fan, sift it, and then I'll put all that stuff into next year's compost barrel. All right, here we go. All right, I think I got about a third to a half of that barrel. I got it all sifted out nice. It smells great. Looks like it could use a little bit more time composting, but it is what it is. So uh, now we're going to go use it. All right, probably got things set up here and actually ready to get my garden in the ground. I got my, call that my transplanting wagon. Put a board across there and make my workbench. Got two flats of seedlings. That's where I just took the first bucket out of. That's going to be a tomato plant. Right down the row here. Tomato plant, egg plant. I'll put lettuce over here on this uh, aisle. There we go. And I got my wagon. 
with uh, compost in it and any other good dirt that I need to use to top off buckets or when I start putting tomatoes in. And uh, so it's finally set up and rolling here. So there's and there's my chair over here in the shade when I want to take a break. That little yellow stool, this chair, that's my footstool. But I got something else this year. There you go. I got an easy up. I'm 64 years old and I do not like direct heat. So I bought this and hopefully I can keep plugging away all day long, take a break, drink some water, whatever it takes, and uh, just enjoy myself more. That's uh, really important when uh, you're working on your recovery that uh, you enjoy it. It's just not total drudgery. Uh, like I said, I do not like heat, and I dang sure don't like direct sunlight. So, there's the rest of the garden. Got a ways to go. Let's see what kind of progress we can make. All right, there's my first plant, eggplant. Second plant, gonna be a tomato plant. And this is how I do it. I take a post hole digger. Now this is a hole that was already there from last year. I clean out the dirt. Then I take, uh, I call this a weed weasel. And I uh, just loosen things up in the bottom a little bit. And I take my tomato plant. Tomato plants are really cool because you can plant them really deep. Everything else you got to plant it the height of the, I think they call it the ball. You can't just plant it real deep. So the tomatoes, they cut off that much. So I, I can plant it real deep. And you take the, uh, the roots. You break them apart a little bit. This is what they call root bound. This way the roots will uh, can expand. If you don't, it'll just they'll just stay into it. The roots will just stay in a ball like this. It won't really spread out. So uh, break them up. Drop it in a hole. And back fill it. That's done. All right. All right, there you go. I got my first two done. You know, I do a bucket and then a tomato plant and then a bucket and then another tomato plant. So just, that's how I do it. And uh, so then I took my wife, she has a mower, catches the grass and she puts the grass in here as mulch. So I grab some of that dried up grass and mulch things up real good. Put my tomato cage back in place the other cage for the eggplant the uh, cages eventually well they hold the uh, irrigation pipe so uh, what I've got to do now is grab another bucket I take the vegetation and the vegetation that's in there Take it and I put it right in the bottom of the bucket. There's some mulch and some other vegetation from last year. Right in the bottom of the bucket. Now I gotta set you down because now I gotta take this bucket, turn it upside down, put it in that bucket. Hang on. Turned it right upside down. Some trash from last year. Got some ants running around in there, but I don't know they bother me any. And I take this shovel. Break it up a little bit. 
ready to plant. So that's how I do it. Over and over again. Alright. I'll bring you back when I got something else doing. Alright folks, morning. It's uh, Tuesday morning. So about uh, quarter to six. Yesterday I got out here at 5.30. And uh, I did good. I got ten plants um, planted yesterday morning before I had to go to work. Today I'm off work. And uh, right there, can you see that? Looks like a, got an aphid. Kind of watch them buggers. They eat eggplants real fast. So I got about 10 plants planted yesterday. I took my tent down because I didn't want to get caught in a thunderstorm. There's my wagon with uh, my compost and some other good dirt in it. And uh, so I got this far with the uh, up to here. So this morning I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more plants to go in this row. And then we'll put the irrigation system in. Get it, get that running right away. Saves me a lot of time and effort from uh, watering. So let me get to work. So I found something here, and I'm not 100% sure. And somebody can help me identify it. That right there, I'm pretty sure, is a moth for the tomato hornworm, the dreaded tomato hornworm. Oh, there he is. Find it. Oh, there he is. So, uh, if somebody can identify that, I'd be really happy. If you've never seen a tomato horn worm, look it up. It's a huge worm that eats the tomato plants. All right, I got that first row done. That's uh, all tomatoes and eggplants. I put my steaks in there. That's for the tomatoes. And the next thing I got to do in that row is get my irrigation pipe going. I'll do that really quick because I don't want to keep watering these by hand. Get that. So I, you know, I do it by row so I can get the uh, irrigation pipe going. And I'm, I'm skipping the second row for now because. I want to see that trellis down there. I want to get that. That's cucumbers. And my little cucumbers are growing. Right out of their container here. So that's the next thing I'm going to do is get my cucumbers in that trellis. Get some of this lettuce planted. And then I'll get my irrigation pipe put into this third row. Alright, and we get back to work. Alright, it's uh, Wednesday morning, and I usually publish my videos on Wednesday, so <laughs> I gotta stop <clears throat> this video. So I just want to quick show you, I got this, uh, how much I got done in my garden. I got this whole row planted. Every other plant is a eggplant and a tomato plant and an eggplant, tomato plant, eggplant, tomato plant. You get the idea. And uh, that's just the way I do it. And uh, I got as far as getting my irrigation pipe out of the basement. Got to get it unrolled and installed, which I'll do. That'll be the next thing I do because. I don't want to water these plants, all these plants by hand. I want to get my irrigation pipe going. Plus, I can add fertilizer to the irrigation pipe the system. And then over here in uh, the second row, remember I skipped, no, the third row. Remember I skipped the second row because 
I wanted to get my cucumbers started, which I've done. I got another four pack to uh, fill in. That one didn't get any yet. But anyways, I got my Kirby cucumber started, my trellis, and I got one Swiss chard plant planted. That's what I got left. I got eggplant, more Swiss chard, got cauliflower there. Yesterday I bought mostly peppers. And uh, lettuce. You see I put three heads of lettuce in the, each bucket. I like the way they grow. And, uh, so that's what I got done. And uh, we'll just keep plugging away here. All right, until next week, it's Don Weber with Garden Recovery. Recovery for mental illness in the garden. Thanks for watching.